Shalom. Ko Halal Yahawa Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakradash. That were honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing the truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwath, that will be brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, the Hashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, I'm not sure of the title of this lesson, but the spirit is on me to um, press the button and go into a lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'm in the Bahamas right now, and I have opportunity, all right, to feed the sheep. So to the spreading part of your heart, Bashim Roshai, where whatever the spirit allows, all right, that's, that, that will I speak of, okay? Um, and as you know, as the Lord said, you know, um, the Lord told the, the head of the church, the apostle Peter, all right, to feed to feed the sheep. Okay? So, through the spreading part of Yah, Bashim Yahushua, we could start there. It says, uh, Saint John, it's, this is St. John chapter 21, verse 16. It says, He said to him again the second time. Let me start to lap you. St. John chapter 21, and verse 15. So, when they had dined, Yahushua said to Simon Peter, remember, Peter is the, the, the head, apostle, the head of the church. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. Verse 16, he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Verse 17 he said, He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, Feed my sheep. So the Lord told him this three times adamantly. All right, and we know through the spread, the number three represents understanding. All right, but the Lord told him three times adamantly to feed the sheep. All right, the sheep um, need to be fed, man. All right, and that's through the spread and part of the Abba Shemel Shai. That's with, with, with God on me. All right, so I'm, I'm in the Bahamas right now and I see opportunity. Okay, because sometimes, you know, when you're traveling, all right, um, sometimes you can get busy and caught up in other things so as the moment uh, uh presents itself to the spirit and power of the abba shimel shai i just jump on it you know as the saying goes strike while the iron is hot all right because the sheep have to be fed all right and uh, another scripture that's come to mind all right uh it's the book of uh saint john the seventh chapter and the 38th verse it says, this is red letter, this is the Lord speaking. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So when the Lord sup with you, all right, and shows you and gives you understanding, all right, you're going to have much to speak about, man, all right, because the Lord, uh, the Lord, the scriptures tell you, man, uh, Search the scriptures, St. John chapter 5 and verse 39. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, meaning our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You are to search the scriptures. The, Revel the scriptures tell you, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3, blesses the man that readeth. All right? Let me go there and get that. The scripture speaks about give attendance to reading. Okay? This is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. 
right? So you got to go into the scriptures to speak. The scripture speaks of uh, 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 men of understanding, men of prudence, all right? Because the scripture tells you that a, 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 a prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself, okay? The scriptures tell you, uh, what's the wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 28? The most high dwells with none than him slack it. The most high loves none than him who dwells with wisdom. Okay? So that's why the scriptures say give attendance to reading, man. Alright? Knowledge and uh, the scriptures say uh, Isaiah 36, 33 and, and, and verse 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is, 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 is his treasure. Okay? At the end of the day, the scriptures tell you how you must not be ignorant in, in any matter great or small so at the end of the day that's why the scripture say to give all diligence to make a call in an election sure all right and also that's why the scripture say to study to show thyself approved let me go let me grab that scripture right there real quick and these are the things that we have to find ourselves doing in these last days okay the scriptures will also tell you that all right the holy scriptures is able to make you wise unto salvation but you got to go into the scriptures and read the scriptures and divide divide the word rightly okay and apply the scriptures let's get that in uh what's that uh first john 2 15 so like you know second timothy because uh second timothy 2 15 Right, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. So you got to rightfully be dividing the word of truth. And how can you do that? When the Lord substitutes you to the Spirit. Because a lot of people read the Scriptures, but if the Spirit ain't on you to, 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 to give you the proper breakdown, and this is why you need teachers also. You need teachers to teach you. Okay? You, you need to be taught. Because it speaks as, the scripture speaks about milk. And it also speaks, speaks about strong meat. Okay? But you have need to be taught. As the scriptures go into. And then the Lord substitutes you through the Holy Spirit also. Okay? Let me see if I can get that account real quick. Um... I still call it, I think it's Acts chapter 12. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, I think it's Acts the 12th chapter. Uh, the e e Ethiopian eunuch. Let me check something real quick. It's not Acts the 12th chapter. It's probably going to be around about the 8th chapter. Mm. Bear with me here. This uh, chapter is eluding me at the moment, but we're going to get it. Readest. Bear with me, I read. All right, eight. Acts chapter eight. I was there. Um, showing you that you need teachers to teach you real quick. This is Acts chapter eight and verse twenty-six. I'll start at twenty-six. It says, "And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south." Unto the way that goeth down to the to Jerusalem, so like you're down from Jerusalem, unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, and eunuch, which was an Israelite man, of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship was returning and sitting in his chariot, meaning his vehicle, read Isaiah, meaning Isaiah, the prophet. 
Then the spirit on then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither, meaning ran there, to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, meaning Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? And and he and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Okay, see so showing you that you need teachers you need somebody to teach you this thing you you're not going to get it off your own that's why the scripture speaks about you will hear a word saying behind you that's um isaiah the, 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 uh let me let me see this isaiah the 30th chapter around about the 20th verse if um let me see right this is this is isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20 showing you that you need teachers and, and, and the fact that you get you get that teaching and then you start to take on this word off of your own and the lord start to sup with you because at the end of the day it's him who's really supping with you that that bring you forth the heavenly father brings you forth and give you to his son all right because no man could come to the father but through the son right yahweh shai uh it, 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 it is the truth all right and the way of life this is Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. It says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Right. You're going to see your teachers, man. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. See? So that's how you're going to know. Because the Spirit is going to be telling you, the Spirit is going to be guiding you that what, what this prophet is saying, what this teacher is teaching, is the truth. And your Spirit is going to be telling you, that's, that's the Lord moving your Spirit in the right direction for you to repent. It says, and thine ear shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. So through the Spirit, you're going to know that the name of Yahweh and the name of Yahweh Shai, you're going to know that's the names. And then you're going to, you're going to start to gravitate toward those names. You're going to start to gravitate toward what, what his servants are saying. This is the way walking in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So how, do, how's the, how does the Lord uh, give you the Holy Spirit? He sups with you. That's Revelation, the third chapter, right? Let's go to Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20. It says, Behold, this is red letter. This is the Lord speaking. Yahweh Shai. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear, hear my voice, and open the door, I will I will come into him, I will sup with him, and, and him with me. When you go into the word sup, it means to share a meal. You ever heard of the old the old term uh food 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 for the brain? It's literally food for the brain. Okay? It's the Lord supping with you, sharing a meal with you, strengthening you through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. By way of the Holy Spirit, right? Because it's the Spirit that quickens. When you go to St. John, St. John, the sixth, the sixth chapter. This is St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. And it reads, It is the Spirit that quickens. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. The Lord is telling you, It is the Spirit that quickens. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right, so you have people who read the Bible like a novel and they don't get it. They don't get the understanding it's because the Holy Spirit ain't dealing with it. The Holy Spirit has to be rested upon you. That's how you get the breakdown, okay, from your teachers, all right, and the Lord supping with you through the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, you wouldn't, able, you wouldn't be able to break down, all right, the Scriptures, in the level of uh, um, 100 percent true all right so the scriptures tell you how uh, 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 a little leaven leaven it the whole lump so you don't need your, your doctrine your doctrine all right your Hawashai's doctrine you got to teach it perfectly okay you don't get you don't you don't get to you don't get to do what you want to do. You don't get to add to this word, nor diminish, nor take away, because there's judgments for those. When you read Revelation the twenty second chapter, 
in the 18th verse and the 19th verse, it goes into the judgment of adding to the word and taking away. You cannot add to this word nor take away. The scriptures tell you how there is no private interpretation of these words. And the scriptures also tell you that, all right, uh, the Lord tell you how this word cannot be broken. The spoken word of the Lord, all right, is faithful and true and it's going to come to pass. It's nothing that you can do about it, all right? Um, Romans 3 and 3, for what if some did not believe, shall not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid, make the Most High be true and every man a liar. It's no going around this word, man. You can't break this down like how you want. Because there's no, there's no, 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 no private interpretation. Right? Let me, let me grab that real quick. Okay? This have, uh, this is, um, I start at verse 19. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Right. No prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, man. All right, just how the Most High said it, that's just how it's going to be. He don't store nor move them. You know, the counsel of the Lord is going to stand. He's going to do all his pleasure, as I tell you, Isaiah 46 and 10. Okay. Um, verse 21, 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but the holy men of Yahweh, all right, the Heavenly Fathers, the Heavenly Father, that's his name, speak as they were moved by the holy spirit right see it's by way of the holy spirit man the holy spirit got to be supping with you this is how the lord sups with you revelation 3 and 20 behold i stand at the door i'm knocking if any man shall open the door i will come into him and supper him meaning share a meal the lord is going to teach you by way of the holy spirit by, by the way of his men and by way of the holy spirit man okay so I mean, a real quick lesson to the sparing part of the Abash and Shai. All right. Uh, the message is to repent, to turn to the Lord. Acts 3.19. All right. Repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, um, uh, as the scriptures again, or it goes, Make the, not that one. Um, seek the Lord, seek Lord, seek ye the Lord while He is near. Call ye upon Him, all right. Seek, seek ye the Lord while He may be found. Call ye upon Him while He is near. Okay, which suggests a time that it's not going to be able to be reachable if you don't get Him, if you don't try to seek Him during this grace period that you have, that while you got liberty to do so, while you're in the green. When it's time, when the dry come, and 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 time of Jacob's trouble and tribulation and all these different time of things, all right. The scripture speaks about a crying that shall be a crying in the street for wine, meaning the oil, the knowledge, the understanding. All right. The scripture also speaks about the famine of the word, Amos chapter eight and verse eleven. All right, a famine, not a not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but of of the words of the Lord, meaning. A time is going to come when destruction is going to come to the earth, but many ain't going to have no understanding of what's going on because they didn't they didn't sort it in the time when they had liberty to do so. The scriptures tell you how the word of the Lord is precious, man. You got to seek this. You got to seek this. You got to seek His face, man. Okay. The, the, the Jeremiah chapter three goes into how the scriptures tell you how the Lord is not going to keep His anger forever. Only acknowledge that you transgress against Him. The Lord said to turn back to him, O backsliding Israel. All right? For he, the Lord said, For I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city. All right? And bring in two of a I don't want to butcher it or prepare prison. Let me go to that scripture, and we're going to get ready to close up. I don't want to butcher that. Let me go to Jeremiah. Let me just go to it, Jeremiah, the third chapter, and we're going to read from the 12th verse. This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. It says, Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return thou, backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, 
For I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Turn ye, Salakia, turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Verse 15. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15, it says, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right? The Lord is going to give you the true men, all right, to feed you this word, man. Okay? And he's going to raise up whomsoever who will. Whomsoever he will. Those that are predestined before the foundation of the world to see his salvation in his land and within his borders, man. Predestined before the foundation of the world. The elect. The first fruits. You see? So take take heed unto the word and repent. Turn unto the Lord, man, for the kingdom is at hand. It is high time to awake or to sleep. Alright? For our salvation is nearer than when we believe. I'm going to end the lesson there. Giving our honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Bahasham Rakakwadash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity. Risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.